Hey guys, Amelia here. So today I'll be talking to you guys about YSL's newest foundation, which I'm super excited about. It is the YSL All Hours Foundation. And basically, it's supposed to be a dream come true foundation for someone like me. I have oily skin, I live in a hot, humid country. I think I've said this sentence too often. Based on the circumstances, it is just really difficult for me to find a foundation that lasts all day on my skin. So I am super psyched when I read through the product description and stuff. So the moment it launched, I decided to get it. Today, I'll be sharing with you guys a brief description of what this product is all about, a demo. Um, as to how I apply it. Also, I've been testing this product out on a few um, scenarios. So I'll be sharing with you guys all the results about it. And if you're interested, please continue watching. So this product is marketed to be a dream come true foundation for someone like me. It's because it is supposed to be super long lasting up to 24 hours. That's crazy. It has a soft matte finish. It has SPF 20. It has an all controlling um, feature inside it so it's supposed to control sebum throughout the whole day and has a full coverage as well. This product definitely has a scent into it and if I can describe it, I think it is quite similar to Marc Jacobs Daisy, it's just um, it's slightly lighter. So if you're not really a fan of foundation with scents, this is probably not the one for you but for me, I actually really like the scent. It's very nice for me. Yeah. This stuff retails for $98.04. Yeah. If this product doesn't work, I'm gonna cry because this is by far the most expensive foundation I've tried yet. I'm actually wearing it on my skin currently. Actually, I don't have any primer, nor concealer, nor powder on my face. Um, on my skin, I only have blush and the foundation itself, so this is how it looks like. Uh, I am gonna be out the whole day today. It is a pretty sunny and hot day, so let's just see how this foundation lasts throughout the whole day. And yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. I've applied this foundation using a few techniques, using my finger, using a brush, and using a beauty blender. Not that bad actually. I got nothing on my skin currently except my moisturizer and a bit of the sunscreen. I'm gonna use one pump for my whole face. Out of all, Beauty Blender is the best. It just um, blends everything um, more evenly and quicker. I'm gonna go for my class now and I'm gonna check back with you guys whether this product managed to last. Again, no primer whatsoever, just my bare skin and the foundation itself. So we shall see. Seems that the foundation is holding off pretty well. The coverage is still really there. There's actually still quite a decent amount of foundation left. I'm gonna remove the other half of my face um, after my shower to see whether it is waterproof. So let's remove the other part of my skin. There's still some left, but not that much. There's only oils on my nose. My foundation is cooking off well. So I'm home already. It is 8.43. This is my current makeup condition. I didn't touch up at all throughout the whole day because I really do want to see how this foundation performed by itself. And as you can see, um, there are already some oils developing around um, like the inner part of my face, the T-zones and the cheeks area. So I'm just going to remove my makeup, see how much is actually left. There's actually still a lot of the foundation left on my skin. I am super surprised and impressed at the same time. I don't think I've seen that much foundation left on my skin at the end of the day. After trying this product out throughout the whole day, I have to say that I am very impressed as to how it is performing. It is by far one of the more longer lasting foundation I've tried. Um, it is definitely buildable. I think it is more of a medium coverage, but if you put on an extra layer, it become a full coverage on your skin. Um, despite the fact that it is a medium to full kind of coverage. It actually feels very lightweight on the skin. I don't feel that I'm wearing something super heavy throughout the whole day. Despite all the humidity, I was actually out outdoor. I feel that it actually covers my under eye pretty well. And with just a few extra depths, it can actually cover my blemishes. So I'm pretty impressed about that. 
in terms of the oil control portion i do feel that it kind of controls the oils on my skin i feel that my skin usually gets um, oilier way earlier uh, compared to me wearing this foundation so yeah a huge thumbs up for that the only downside that i can think of for this foundation is the fact that you actually have to pay 98 dollars for a 25 mils worth of foundation that's big so those are all the things that I would like to share with you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to test this product out even further or do a comparison. Also, I will be um, reviewing this lipstick over here as well. It's the Chanel Jumbo Crayon Lipstick, which is a new launch from them as well. Um, if you're interested, keep a lookout for this video and I will link it the moment it is uploaded. Don't forget to like this video if you like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And yes, thank you all so much for watching and hope to see you guys again in my next video. Bye-bye.